Welcome back to another episode. Um, not racing this weekend. We've got a little break in the weather. Nice little bit of sun coming through there and Zoe's gone crazy because she's been locked up in the house. But the weather is pretty bad this weekend. Some guys are still going to fly it, so that's fine. That's, that's no stress. Um, realistically, I don't want to fly it because we've only got 15 birds to race um, and it's not really worth risking those 15 birds just for another win. We've already done pretty well. We've got a third, second and a first. And that's only in two races, so I don't realistically want to prove anything. But um, these guys will continue on out for some time. They'll go out all the way to um, hopefully 500. There's our little special hen there. Look at her, looking good. Um, even though we've missed this weekend, I may even consider on Monday that the weather's meant to clear up and I've got the day off. Um, take him out for a short 20 kilometer toss maybe. Um, see how they go. Oh, she's a good looking little bird, that one. But uh, yeah, we'll just wait and see how the weather turns out. We may or may not. I am going to loft fly them as much as possible over the weekend. I may get them out now. It seems like the, the rain's kind of stopped. I've um, got some big storms coming in tonight. And um, I don't really want to push the birds too much. It's uh, pretty windy. But the birds should be fine. I just don't want to risk them because uh, I really want to keep going all the way out to four or 500 kilometers and see how we go. But um, yeah, it's um, so far been a pretty good season to be honest. I've enjoyed it. Um, the only big issue I've had is bird losses and um, I do know where we might have gone wrong in a few spots there. But uh, we will continue on with the birds that we do have left. Now who's in here crowing? You, he's only a baby. Um, so I wanna get these guys out for a fly. It's uh, Friday afternoon. I want to get in here tomorrow and do a little bit of cleaning and just tidying up. I've um, got a few odd jobs to do, but uh, I don't want to get too carried away. You can see, just got this section empty now. It's just one less section I need to clean. I want to get in here and have a bit of a tidy up. I am, like I said, there is some plans, and these lofts have always been temporary lofts anyway. So hopefully this weekend I've got some time just to sit down and do a bit more planning. Uh, this section, actually this section you see here, um, was the original green loft that we built and had over here when we first brought the property. I just built that real cheap and easy, just to see um, how we'd go with having birds out here. Uh, so, you know, we've been here 12 months now and we really need to start thinking about, um, you know, more permanent, longer term accommodation. And especially, like I said in previous videos, you know, there is some pretty crazy winds out here. We're in the open. So I do want to build something that, um, you know, if we do have really, really gale force winds that, you know, I can lay in bed and not even have to worry about the birds. My biggest fear pretty much is coming out here and this thing has just ripped the bits and blown halfway down the paddock there, which, you know, the likelihood of that happening is very low. I'm just confused if this little hen is thinking she can pair up with me. She's kind of got a weird stance to her. See, you know, it's... Don't say another one of those is anyway, we'll just see. But um yeah, let's get back to the loft building thing. I do like to build lofts, but I do need to really put a lot of thought into this next one. Um I really want to build well realistically I want a young bird loft and then a breeding loft. Uh but I want it lights, you know. Preferably graded flooring all the way through because this stuff is fantastic. It's um, super easy to maintain and I just yeah, I just really want to think about it a bit more um, Change probably the trapping entry system all this kind of stuff But I don't want to go crazy and have massive big lofts so I just want um, you know a couple of really easy Kind of small ones enough that we can have the birds that we need to we'll just go and have a look at these breeders at the moment um, I want to get them out for a fly I think they'll go out for a short fly before you feed them. But um, we'll get all the cocks in. Come on, boys. And also have um, some really good, decent breeding boxes. Probably even the same length as this with some floor grills, everything in there. Um, so we can do some serious breeding. You just settle down there, buddy. Oh, look who's coming. Of course it's you. You want to come back over here, but I'm just about to loft fly you. All right, all right. Anyway, doing some drawing, some thinking about new lofts and things like that as well. Uh, I'll leave them like that. 
we'll go back over here get these ones out for a fly um, this loft yeah it's it's not bad um, you know this is my first big one um, it's more temporary than anything that was always the way I don't want to tread on you and squash my little champion but um, yeah we'll just see how we go with it and they are playing around the wind which is good to see but not going too far it is late in the afternoon they won't generally they sort of hang around pretty close because they know that it's feed time but uh, hopefully tomorrow if it's got a clear break in the morning I might get them out for a loft fly uh, they generally do so much better in the afternoon or the morning than the afternoon sorry because um, they're not as you know afternoon they, they want some food they want to go on their perch these ones in the morning will fly for that hour hour and a half without too much hassle so hopefully if we don't have any storms in the morning we might get a nice break in the weather but uh, yeah the wind and that coming and the rain is probably just a little bit too much of a risk for me this year I know you know you've got to fly the birds and all that kind of nonsense and I agree with it but I don't have a lot so I don't want to push those 15 more than you know really need be so we'll get them out and just try and keep the fitness up over the next few days we'll just keep the loft flying up they seem to be enjoying it at the moment up there quite high but we will try and get them definitely next week the weather next week looks pretty good uh, more favorable for young birds and things like that so we will try and keep them up as much as possible over the weekend and um, maybe a short toss we'll just see on Monday but nothing too crazy because I do want to try and make it through another four or five races that's we just got to try and um, ration the birds out a little bit now but they won't stay out too long today just enough to stretch their wings and I'll get some food in there for them Why aren't you up there? Huh? You just want to get in with those boys. I don't know if that's going to happen, sadly. So another big problem, this loft kind of just outside the building envelope, I think a bit as well. Um, and it's just on the other side of where you might have to have a permit for it. So this always was a temporary loft. So my plan in some time in the near future is um, I'd really like to build some lofts sort of up against this because ideally I'd like them facing the race direction as well. So here, they're nice and tucked in behind here and I can actually run power out to them as well because my new lofts, I want lights in it, maybe some fans and also power points in that for the ETS. So our clock system can be there all the time. So um, we've got definitely eight meters along here to play with and a little bit more out there if we need be. So um, I'm just thinking about it. It's a good spot for it. We can put some breeder birds here. So it's easy, a door there, easy to come in and out. Um, and maybe a small young bird loft over the back here, similar size to what we're working with here anyway. So enough for, you know, 50 to 60 birds. And then um, later on, I've got the option to build bigger lofts or whatever, wherever I want. But um, I feel like these two will get us through. Oh, gosh, coming in hot. Let's have a quick look and see how the hens are going. I'm going to get in there soon and feed them. Um, this weekend is going to be a good weekend. I'm not racing to get in here and tidy all everything up. Um, oh, here comes some rain. But realistically, I just like to have a big breeding loft with breeding pens all down the wall, two sections can separate the hens and the cocks. Uh, especially if it went, I just want to breed all my young birds in a round or two. Um, so hopefully, we'll see the birds are still flying around. I'm hoping for them to come in soon. Um, and I'm just trying to try and tidy up the backyard too. So we'll see. But I definitely want some really neat and easy to clean maintenance lofts anyway. I think they can't be too far off coming. They want to, I don't know, sometimes they really enjoy the rain. Mom! <whistles> Starting to come in, a little bit of rain, so I'm just hiding around the corner here. Mum! 
All right, let's bring him in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, oh, it comes some real rain now. Dinner time, come on. All right, a couple more up on the roof there. Here they come. I think they're just enjoying that rain. Here come the other ones. Whoop. Come on. Good on you guys. One more, come on. Who is that? Come on, don't be scared. Let's go, come on. What are you panicking about? You don't like the rain? Good job. Just opened up this other side to bring this other feeder in here. Just give them a bit of space. Um, like I said, I'm going to get in here tomorrow because um, I'm not going to race them, so I've got plenty of time. I'm not rushing around basketing and all that kind of business. Oh, some, some heavy rain there. Oh, we two seconds later, and now we've got the sun again. So the weather is definitely all over the place. Uh, pretty windy and gusty too, so I think it's a pretty good idea that we do sit out this weekend because I don't think the birds really would enjoy this as young birds. This would be a good test, but uh, I need to sort of get some longevity out of this season because we've been taking a few heavy losses, so yeah, I think it's a pretty wise idea. very funny I'm just sort of waiting for them to finish eating so a lot of these hens at the moment are sort of like a little switches flicked on as well same as the cocks um, that it's they know it's getting close to breeding they want to breed right now which is which is interesting it's always the typical barless hen there and also the little hen that's been doing pretty well but there's a few other hens starting to go across here now as well especially young ones which is interesting so um, I've just been sitting back watching to see who's interested and what's going on because um, you know sometimes we could probably use that and I just found out that one of our birds from shock is actually a cock bird, which is interesting because when we first got shock, we thought he was a hen. So look at all the hens coming across here now. I know all these are hens, but they want to get in there, which is interesting because it is a little bit of motivation, I think. that They know that there's cocks here that want to breed, um, which, is, yeah, which is good because these hens still got a little bit more to go. Both that checker and this blue bar. So the checker's the mother and the blue bar's the daughter, which is very interesting. Like I said before, I've got the tough hen and her mealy daughter, and this one and her daughter are still here. So it could be, um, I'm going to keep an eye on it and just see. Like if they do well, then obviously they are producing little babies that do well as well. So I'm just going to keep an eye on it. It doesn't really mean anything, but. If I'm not losing birds and, you know, the mums and the daughters and sons and stuff are still here, then obviously we are on the right track. We've just got a lot more speed to get into them. But um, there's our little... I really like this little blue bar hen anyway. She's really nice. She's, um... She's... Oh, here we go. So here's the checker. We'll get back to that blue bar in a second. So this is a little checker that I thought was a hen. It's actually a cockbird. He went on one race, but he... Pretty sure he turned out the day later. But he has just like a switch he's flicked on and now he's chasing hens so interesting i wonder who else is going to come out and um surprise me that way it's hard to tell with the shock ones like um even adam was a little bit confused by him too but um so was i and i'm confused by some of these babies so i'm going to keep a close eye on this one if he can make it through the races geez he could be pretty useful to our breeding program but uh, I just like sitting back and watching all these cocks and hens carry on. It's just hilarious. It's entertaining. The cocks are showing off and you know which hens are interested in getting close, ready to breed. Um, and at the same time, it's, you know, it's helpful if you want to do motivation because you know that we can start utilising that, you know, sexual... Well, the mating. Well, they just want to mate. They want to have babies. We use that as their um, bit of motivation. So, we'll see how we go.